Los Angeles Chargers are at odds of 45 to 1 to win Super Bowl 52. They're at 25 to 1 odds to win the AFC and at just under odds of 4 to 1 to win the AFC West. Their season win total for 2017 is set at seven and a half games. The San Diego Chargers finished their last season in San Diego with a 5 and 11 record. The Chargers are moving to Los Angeles and they decided to fire head coach Mike McCoy. Now the Los Angeles Chargers have head coach Anthony Lynn calling the shots, with Ken Weisenhunt remaining as the offensive coordinator. The Chargers averaged 25.6 points per game, and that wasn't the main problem with all of their close losses. Still, the offense can be a lot better this season. But defensively, the Chargers hired Gus Bradley as the new coordinator. He has a lot of work to do to get the defense playoff ready. Last season, they gave up 26.4 points per game. That was the number 29th ranked scoring defense in the NFL. The win total is set at seven and a half games. Therefore, the Chargers would need a three game improvement from last season to hit the number. Still, eight wins is likely to fall short from making the playoffs. As a result, the Chargers must go way over their number to even vie for a postseason berth. Quarterback Phil Rivers threw 33 touchdown passes last season. Unfortunately, his downfall came with his 21 interceptions. Too many times, Rivers found himself under pressure. The Chargers hope the new additions to the team will help the offense as a whole. They also plan on having a better ground attack than last season. Running back Melvin Gordon seems to be on his way to a big season. However, any step back from last season, the Chargers will be too one-dimensional to compete for that final playoff spot. Clearly, the Chargers knew they needed help along the offensive line. Therefore, it was no surprise when they signed Russell Okung to a four-year deal during free agency. Okung was a starter for the Denver Broncos and just shifted teams in the AFC West. They also added Ken John Barner to the running back position. Barner should fit in with the system, but he's not here to be a starter. He's in town to be the number three running back at best. The only major free agent acquisition is Trey Boston. Boston is projected to only play a reserve role in the defensive backfield. When you see a couple of their draft picks, you'll know why the competition should be fierce in training camp. Running back Danny Woodhead is headed to Baltimore. Due to another season-ending injury, Woodhead missed most of the 2016 season. However, they should have running backs to help in the passing game. Offensive guard DJ Fluker also signed with the New York Giants. Manti Teo signed with the New Orleans Saints and word is he might have a tough time making the Saints defense since they are loaded at linebacker. Therefore, keep an eye out if Teo gets cut, he may make it back to the Chargers. In addition, cornerback Robert McClain signed a one-year deal with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Chargers used their top round picks in the NFL draft on offense and rounded up some impressive talent. The Chargers don't need much to be better than last season. If they are able to dominate fourth quarters, it wouldn't be a surprise if they make a run at the playoffs. Unfortunately, the Chargers are probably in the toughest division in the NFL. The AFC West had the Oakland Raiders and Kansas City Chiefs each finish with 12 and four records. The Broncos probably have the best defense in the division. And despite Derek Carr's ascension and new contract, Phillip Rivers may still be the best quarterback in the AFC West. In a competitive conference with a difficult schedule moving locations, it may be just too much to expect eight plus wins out of the Chargers this season. So we'll have to go with under the total of seven and a half wins. For our pick and prediction on this game and every other game this week, and a wealth of free stats and information, check out bangthebook.com.